हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज शेफ राम गोपाल एंड टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इफेक्ट ऑफ हीट ऑन कुकिंग सो लेट्स स्टार्ट वेन एवर यू आर कुकिंग एनी काइंड ऑफ अ फूड प्रोडक्ट यू नो ऑलवेज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट कुकरी देर इज अम ऑफ कुकिंग द एम सपोज टू बी वेन एवर यू आर कुकिंग एनी ऑफ द फूड प्रोडक्ट फूड ऑलवेज गोज इन यू नो physical and a chemical change and the end result supposed to be edible or acceptable by the humans so that's we in a simple word we can say that's the aim of the cookery right there are some of the objectives as well if you talk about the first objective of cooking it's supposed to be you know whenever you are cooking the food and that cooked food product supposed to be digestible and it needs to be absorbed by our digestive system right during the cooking process obviously the heat converts the cellulose into a simple molecular structure so that it can be absorbed by our body whenever you are giving heat to any of the food product what will happen it soften the connective tissues of the meat and break down the protein and the carbohydrate into a simple molecular structure so that our body can easily digest it a physical change also occurs in the food substances like it uh, changes its color sometimes size and sometimes sometimes the texture of any of the food product so that's supposed to be the objective of the cooking right basically if we talk about the effect of heat on cooking there are three components three major components in which heat affects a lot the effect of heat is majorly seen on proteins carbohydrates and fat so today we will discuss about protein uh, in this um, video we will discuss about the effect of heat on protein and then carbohydrates and fat on the another video right so let's start if i talk about proteins proteins are a kind of amino acids and that gives us energy as well as the uh, amino acids help us in building our muscles right so if you are giving a moderate heat to any of the protein what will happen the first step is it start coagulating right the application of heat coagulates the protein if you see in the image uh, you see the different stages of the eggs like if we are giving heat to any of the egg the initial stage is this one it's slowly get coagulating coagulating then again further goes to the you know different different structures and finally it goes to a hard boiled egg so these are the different different stages of the egg like partially boiled half boiled or full boiled egg whenever you are cooking any of the egg it generally take 10 to 12 minutes to get cooked properly right so uh, egg is one of the very simple example of understanding the coagulation of any of the protein because and in egg there is one kind of a protein present called albumin right next if you are giving extra temperature to the protein if you are giving extra temperature to the, to the protein what will happen the protein get harder B protein get denature and it get shrink and food become indigestible how we understand this we will understand this like if you are cooking any chicken uh in the initial stages of uh, cooking the chicken is like pink in color right and if you are giving the normal heat and you are cooking to uh, at the exact point of time what will happen it will get perfectly cooked and the chicken supposed to be very juicy right and the texture is as soft as the potato right but if you give extra heat extra heat to the chicken what will happen the uh texture of the chicken will get fibrous right it becomes hard and it also shrink so you will you know sometime have a very great difficulty even to chew the chicken right so you are not supposed to give extra heat to the uh, any kind of protein because it will become a irritable substance which is not accepted and digested by our body right protein you know if you are giving a very moderate heat to any of the protein it increase the biological value of the food right as i have told you protein are the simple molecules in the simple molecular structure are amino acids right 
whenever a protein is digested by our body amino acids will turned up into three different uh, products like fat glucose and the energy plus uh, it's urea right fat is stored in the body glucose gives us energy and urea is a kind of a nitrogen which is you know removed by our kidneys right and f- proteins also helps us to building up our muscles our internal organs and the bones as well right proteins also help us to develop the antibodies and uh, in the vo- uh, in our body right so protein increases the immunity of the body right now if we if you know the if we talk about further about the protein the connective tissues is converted into gelatin which is you know one of the soluble substance uh, soluble in water and protein become digestible by the body now if we talk about gelatin how to create a gelatin a gelatin is uh, in like the cartilage of the bone Ca- if you are giving extra heat to the cartilage of the bone what will happen what will happen with the cartilage it will turn uh, into a into a compound into a substance which you can dissolve in the water and then further you are using it in any of the cooking preparation so gelatin is one kind of a protein product which is one of the very uh, you know uh, kind of a substance which helps to stabilizing the food product like uh, any kind of a mousse so it helps to uh, create a different food products as well as it is helping to increase your uh, nutritional value of the food so that's about the uh, heat effect of heat on cooking uh, regarding the protein in the next chapter we will understand we will understand the effect of heat on fat and the carbohydrates as well till that time stay safe stay healthy thank you very much have a nice day